This one has one terabyte with eight gig of memory. If you look at the screen resolution, go to advanced setting. The dedicated video memory is 128 meg. Try to do is to install El Capitan on this. So what I'm going to do now is to go to Control Panel, Administrative Tools, and I'm going to keep uh, Window 8.1. I don't like Window 10, so I'm not going to update. So let's do computer management and the storage, disk management. So what I want to do with this is to shrink a volume. So it's 468 gig so I want to shrink half of it that's good so what I'm going to do create new simple volume do not assign and right now let's see if we can well, NTFS is fine so this going to be El Capitan. All right, so now we're ready. So what we need to do is to install El Capitan onto a USB, just like my other tutorial. I have a USB, 500 gig. So I made six partitions. Okay, so now we're locked into Yosemite. Is to go to this utility and we open this utility. So we made a Capitan. So what we want to do, we want to restore to El Capitan. El Capitan. 116, the one I want to restore to this El Capitan. Okay? So this one is in the hard drive. The OS is a window, and this one is a shrunk uh, 490 gig or whatever in here. All of these are original partition. So let's do restoration. Can you erase? Okay. Alrighty then. Perfect. So it's going to take 15 minutes for me to restore El Capitan 116 onto the El Capitan inside the hard drive then I will be booting from the Clover 3974 now while we're waiting for it for this Broadwell is 1626 006 this guy right here, IG platform ID. We'll keep injecting until you hit the right one. You don't get the kernel panic or not load it with 7 meg. Okay, so when it's done, the internal hard drive, they they remount the El Capitan 116 so now we have it okay now we're going to boot it from 
but before we go to to install the clover into the UEFI EFI folder we want to make sure everything works first so right now I'm still booting from my clover external USB 3974 okay so let's try so it's time to install clover to UEFI so right now the version is 3974 install for UEFI To boot to Clover, we need to go to Microsoft and change the boot from Manager for Window and add dash ORIG for the UEFI to boot from Clover. Okay, it's a Microsoft folder to boot. So when we see this, we Dale try to change the boot from the Clover. So we hit cancel. Now we can boot from Clover. So I don't know how to disable the Dale boot manager okay so it boot into clover okay we in so now we're straight from UEFI